Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. It's a great opportunity to be able to speak to you all today. My name is Zara, and I'm the Training and Engagement Lead at Arnet, which, uh, for those of you who don't know us, is Australia's academic research network. I'd like to begin today by acknowledging the tra traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to elders past and present. Today, I'm privileged to be on Ghana land here on the Adelaide Plains. Uh, now, here we go. So, along with providing the high-speed research and education network, Arnet over the last few years has made a significant investment in developing a security operations center to support uh, the research and education sector. The Arnet Security Operations Centre, also known as the SOC, uh, is a purpose-built facility uh, and that provides Australian research and education with a suite of capabilities for managing cybersecurity incidents. It is staffed by a highly skilled team of security analysts. We've got a lot of people on board now. Uh, and these analysts and engineers are trained to counter cyber threats in the university environment. And this has become, I think, uh, for all of us, we know that there is some pretty high um, uh, level of threats that are happening in all sorts of ways around and attacks on universities, schools, research institutes and so on are increasing. And this also reflects some of the uh, focus that the Department of Education has had over the last couple of years. So along with that, we have also spent a little bit of time, and that's my role, um, over the years uh, engaging with the sector by providing training and developing various solutions for researchers, partnering with different groups um, and developing e-research infrastructure services that are up to date and I think often feeling a kind of market gap. So we've been able to focus as well on researchers and disciplines that are relatively new to e-research, which is one of my passions, uh, and supporting them to be able to upskill in order to be able to make the most of the research infrastructure that we provide and others as well. So we've got these two things going on at Arnet, and one of my questions and why I'm here today is to sort of ask, given that we've got these two, we've got this uh, security operations centre, and then we've also got a training and engagement uh, lead, we are interested in understanding where the, there might be a gap that we can help fill when it comes to researcher specific training around security potentially also privacy in the title of the talk. Um, and when it comes to e-research solutions as well as more generally in their work, our question is, is it enough to offer researchers generic cybersecurity awareness training, like the stuff that all employees get, or is there a need to offer research specific, researcher specific training around information and data security for those who are working at the cutting edge, and these are people that are often also building and developing their own technologies and not just using enterprise solutions, can this training help protect then those systems, instruments, labs, centres, collaborations, the data itself um, that, you know, are using this critical research data? So we now have this significant amount of in-house experience and, and from our initial scan this year of the sector, we can see that there may be a need for more support in developing resources for upskilling researchers specifically. We do know that there are some large universities that are already making roads in uh, in this regard. Uh, we don't see it as a huge, you know, no one's ever thought of this gap, but we're wondering if there might be a requirement or an interest in support for some of the uh, smaller universities that may not be working so much in this space. So that's where my question is. It's a great opportunity to be able to tap into this audience um, to see if there's any interest in gathering together, perhaps as a community, to articulate where that gap is, what those needs are, and potentially then go on to share knowledge and contribute towards developing some uh, solutions and resources and so on. Um, so I'm thinking potentially of community of practice, something of this regard. So if you are interested or even just a bit of curious, that's okay. You can just send me your name. Uh, and once I know that there are a group of people interested, then I'm happy to get us all together and see how we can uh, work towards this future of ensuring that our researchers uh, have the skills they need. So thank you everyone for having me and I hope to hear from you.